starting the novel is not really about the first words on the page. By the time I get to the first words on the first page, half of the novel's done, because by then I've done all the research. By then, uh, though I'll carry on researching all the way through, and by then I'll have heard the voices of the characters in my head. I spend quite a long time just walking and almost listening for them. When I know their lives, when I know their experiences, when I know the sort of people they are, I wait until I, I can sense them, almost like I could remember the presence of a friend. And when I have their voices in my head, that's when I start writing. I can write anywhere. Um, I rather pride myself on writing anywhere because I often have to travel and uh, I love one of the things that is absolutely great is I have a really small light laptop, I take it with me and I work anywhere. <laughs> Overcoming writer's block I have an absolute recipe for and it was told me by a very good writer. You have to trick the unconscious mind. You can't let it put a block in your way, you have to in a sense frighten it. Now the unconscious mind knows perfectly well that it lives in your body so it knows fundamentally that its biggest job is to keep you alive. So what you do is you need a dog for this and also some sandwiches and a drink and you say to the unconscious mind, I am stuck on this novel and I'm going to find the solution to it and I'm going to go out for a walk and I'm going to go on walking in the same direction until I get the solution and I have my sandwiches and I have my drink and if I have to stay out all night or if I have to stay out for the next three days, I'm going to do that. So you set off and I have never ever ever not got back before dark because after you've eaten your sandwiches and drunk your drink and you're still walking straight on, the unconscious mind gives up and it says, okay, you win. The solution to this problem which I've been stuck on is this and then you can turn around and go home. In a sense, writing a book is quite like reading a book. If it's so absorbing that I really don't hear any distractions or I'm not aware of any distractions, then they don't bother me. But uh, mostly, I mean, I write in airport lounges, I write when other people are watching television, I'd, I expect to be able to write as I would expect to be able to read in most places. Well, I suppose each novel takes about two years uh, from beginning to end, but also they sit on the back of now 10, 15 years of historical research, and that sits on the back of four years of a PhD, three years of a BA. So I kind of have done a lot of reading in the historical period and a lot of thinking about it. The actual writing of a novel probably takes between six to nine months. The research and the thinking about it takes about twice as long. I think all of my novels are absolutely rooted in the historical record. So that's where I first research, that's what I'm first drawn to, that's what gives me the structure and the skeleton of the novel. The fiction is in a sense imagining that this is my story and breathing life into it. So, you know, the history is the skeleton and the fiction is the breath of life. When people ask me how to turn an idea into a novel, uh, really, <laughs> you have to find your own way. I know that's not very comforting. I think some ideas are maybe a short story novel. Some ideas are so substantial and complicated that they make a novel. In a sense, you have to tell it over and over to yourself until you get the rhythm of it and the voice of it and the material of it clear in your own mind. And then, um, you know, start writing. <laughs> it, you don't even have to start at the beginning. You, the first pages you write can be what is going to be the end. Or if there's a fantastic scene in the middle, you can start in the middle. You can be quite flexible with that. But the, the jump from the material in your mind to the material on the screen or on the page is really a bit of a jump of faith, and you just have to do it.